Alright, what up greatness gang? We are here at the rack store. Just got done with my son basketball game. Let's see what they have. Now this is a new one. Summer vibes. This is my first time seeing it in here. Looks like it's on sale $59.99. Still got the coach. Still got the Moschino toy boy. 30 ml for $40. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Got a little Dolce & Gabbana over there. Got Invictus as well. Got some polos. Let me turn it around real quick. Let me turn it around real quick. Still got the Gucci Guilty, but y'all already know that that's at a crazy price. Abercrombie and Fitch Away. Polo Blue. That looks like it's going for $34.99 for a 40 ml. Every time I see that, I remember y'all told me not to get it. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. That's on down there. Let's see what the unboxed fragrances look like. And the unboxed fragrances. Ooh, they got some stuff. Ooh, they got some stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start off with this one first. First things first. This right here, easily one of the top rack store fragrances you can pick up. Easily one of the top rack store pickups. Off cap, it kind of smells like um like legend. Invictus Legend, very nice. Indigo Inferno, I don't know about this. This is my first time seeing it. But that Hyene, that Hyene Paris by Riviera, great fragrance in my opinion. They got a lot more of the Essentius. They have a lot more than Essentius. This one's like a fresh, spicy fragrance. I do like it. Then they also have some Ombre in here. They got a lot of Tahari fragrances. Citrus, spicy, woody, somewhat leather mix. Okay, now let's go over the port. Let's go over the Tahari line. Black, spicy, leathery type of dry down. Extremely nice. Aqua Wave, Blue Day Chanel vibes. Red musk, um, red tobacco vibes with a lot of cinnamon, very warm. Leather, ooh, the best one in the line in my personal opinion. $12.99, must cop if you enjoy rack store fragrances. It's not too much leather in there, it's not too much oud. They got a lot of the black songs. These are extremely nice. I would go with the fragrance set. Oh, but they got the new one. Bro, I wish I would have seen this one first. Because I like that bourbon oak so bad. Oh, they got another one right there. Ocean blue. And the, yeah, the black blue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm marking with that. Got a little bit more to ombre right here. Red tag on the sandalwood. $10. Yes, Invictus vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh, they got the Charmer. English Laundry Charmer. This is my... I saw it the last week, but I wasn't able to see what it smelled like. Ooh. This one's like sweet. Sweet, somewhat like vanilla type of vibes. Ugh. Modern Memory. Western Santal. $14.99. Lemon, cardamom, cedar wood, musk, and sandalwood. Bruh, this line, I think this line is going to be a big sleeper. Yes. Big sleeper. And it does have like that western smell, that western vibe to it. Almost gives you like a cowboy fragrance type of vibe. I had to dig all the way to the back for this one. This right here is so worth it. That boozy, woody smell. Oh my gosh, man. This right here. Bruh. Boozy, citrus, a little bit of spice. This is absolutely worth it, in my opinion. Absolutely worth it. Oh, we got an alt fragrance up in here. Hold on. Inspired by Y E D P. Not bad, not bad. All right, we about to slide out of here. Go to the next store. Somebody done opened up a little top for boy. Mm. Let's slide over to the next store. Yeah.
What a greatness, gang. D4G here. All right, man, so as you've seen from the Burlingtons, it was a little bit up in there for us to check out. It was a lot of the Unbox fragrances, mainly what we was looking at today. I will say this right now, that, that Blackstone, Bourbon, and Oak, I think it was, is a must cop. I will be picking that up next time I go back in there. But today we're going to talk about these two fragrances that I've been meaning to go over for a while, and that's going to be Coach Open Road and Viso Golden Dawn. Both of these are gonna be quick. Let's go over the Coach Open Road first. I already took the cellophane off, popped that thing open. Look like a small little 15 ml. Is this really 15? Yeah, this 15. Okay, pull this thing out like this, and then boom, there we go. Let's see how this gonna come on. I've seen this one for a while in there. Well, not for a while, they just started popping up, but I've known this fragrance has been out for a while. Kind of eager and excited to have a little 15 ml of it. Already in the air, I'm picking up a nice bit of freshness, a little bit of a fruity accord, some spice as well, a little bit of a aromatic type of profile to it. Nothing groundbreaking, but it's not a bad fragrance, especially if you can find a 15 ml. I was able to pick mine up for 20 bucks. If you can find a 15 ml, for sure, for sure, this is a nice pickup. Sister says a little bit more of a rougher type of pepper spice that this thing has going on with it. You can pick up the lavender in this. Does have like a little bit of a clary sage appeal to it. Mainly what I'm getting in this is a fresh spicy fragrance with aromatics. Nothing crazy, nothing groundbreaking, but nothing to truly dislike. Depending on if this is your type of scent profile, this is something that could be full bottle worthy. For me, I'm definitely cool with rocking the 15 ml and seeing how this one's gonna be. Very nice, one that will be safe for those professional type settings, but again, it's just gonna depend on your sip palette if you want a full bottle or not. Now let's get into the real reason why y'all are here. Let's check this Viso Dawn out, man. I done heard a couple of things. Now this one, I'm, ooh, pressure atomizer, fam. You see that? This is warm, spicy, and leather. Let me grab a strip. Warm, spices, and leather. Hold on. Bro, I love that atomizer, oh my gosh. So one of the things I did find in my um, search of doing this fragrance is that this is a discontinued fragrance from, maybe I might be able to see it on the cap, Camara Perfumes. So if you know them, a lot of their fragrances have been popping up in the rack stores. They've had a lot of fragrances pop up in the rack store lately. So, and this is a brand out of Dubai. I do know that this one is discontinued though. Yeah, exactly like I said, warm, spicy with a little bit of like a lemon type of citrus. Now this one, I'm not really getting no type of clone DNA of what it could be. It does smell warm. One thing I can say, it does smell like something that if I was just blind to smell it, without the bottle, I would, I would think that this is in that one million vein of type of fragrances. But outside of that, like if one million made a one million leather, this is kind of what I would be expecting it to come off as. Y'all know I'm a big fan of the 1 million line. That's really all I can tell you right now, fam. I'm gonna have to wear this one a little bit. Maybe go to the mall and try to sample it and get some of the newer 1 million fragrances that are out. But this does smell like something that would be in that 1 million vein style of fragrances. Now the hardest part about this one is most of the time when I've seen this fragrance particular, it has been in a case, I guess you could say to where you can't just spray it and see if it's something that you like. So you will be blind buying this. Now, most of the time I've seen this one at a Burlington's and it is gonna be around that $14.99 price point. Not gonna be over that. Most of the time it is $14.99 from what I've been seeing. But yeah, if you like 1 million, you will like this one. I can honestly say that. If you like 1 million, you will like this one. Very nice fragrance. It's gonna be easy to wear, especially in those cold situations, um, fall and winter. This is gonna be an easy green bean. Especially for a rack store fragrance, you're gonna rock with this. Now again, I can't tell you specifically what type of spices it is, but I can tell you that that citrus is mainly gonna be a lemon. And I can tell you that pepper is really gonna be like a black pepper type of thing. Not too much on the aromatic side of things, but I am getting like a slight cue of something that you would, like a clary sage in a way. Yeah, yeah, I am getting like a slight cue of like a clary sage, but nothing really too crazy. Again, lemon. Some type of pepper, black pepper from what I'm thinking. A nice leather profile. You, I would like to say you do have to be in the leather fragrances to kick with this one. But outside of that, bro, yeah, that Golden Dawn is the winner of the bunch because this is one that I can really see myself truly enjoying. 
on a day in and day out basis. This could be signature scent, especially for a younger guy. Just now getting into fragrances, this is nice. But let me know y'all thoughts and opinions down in the comment section, man. Which one of y'all rocking with out of these two? Has anybody been able to get their hands on this Viso Golden Dawn? I do know they have a black one. I might be checking that one out as well. But for me right now, these are two great pickups. I am actually rocking with that Coach Open Road very nicely. Don't need a full bottle of it, but this 15 ml will last me a good amount of time. So I am happy to have that one in the collection, as well as the Viso Golden Dawn. But let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section if y'all have either one of these. But with all that being said, we about to get up out of here. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square. Stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of it, fam. D4G, truly blessed. Just in for greatness. We are.